How long does it take to build a typical regional volcano in the Cascade Arc? It's a good question. We don't know the answer to it. However, there are 100 times more small, typical regional Cascade volcanoes than large eruptive centers. Guidebooks and compendiums suggest 1,000 or 10,000 year timescales to build regional scale volcanoes, but these are simply approximations. Thus, our uncertainty about the basic life cycle of regional scale volcanism remains an unresolved blind spot in thinking about regional volcanic hazards. This research begins to address that uncertainty. We are conducting a paleomagnetic study at Ash Creek Butte, a relatively small 227,000 year old mafic shield volcano along the Cascade Arc axis. By relatively small, I mean that this estimated eruptive volume is about 11 cubic kilometers, rather than about 450 cubic kilometers of eruptive volume for its near neighbor, Mount Shasta. In this area, there are multiple shields of similar size, but Ash Creek Butte stands out for its excellent exposures of glacially eroded lavas. We now return to the original question with a little more specificity. How long did it take to build Ash Creek Butte. We took 13 paleomagnetic sites in and around the volcanic edifice, roughly equally split between what we considered from field relationships to be early or late flows. This difference is relative since there are no internal unconformities or noticeable hiatuses in eruption. Geochemical samples were also taken at each site. Paleomagnetic data were relatively straightforward after AF cleaning of minor viscous components and some major IRM components from lightning strikes. We got acceptable data, that is, in situ and well-defined lines or planes, from 11 sites. The site mean directional data from separate flows and one intrusive dike are very similar, slightly east of north normal polarity directions typical of the Bruins crop. The element of the geomagnetic field we can use to estimate time is secular variation. The lava flows from Ash Creek Butte have captured successive snapshots of the field as they cooled, and the field shifts on the order of years, decades, and centuries. Although the rate of secular variation is variable, we can use average rates in order to estimate a dura duration of the Ash Creek Butte eruptive episode. Within the poster, and hopefully in talking with you, there is and will be discussion of the caveats and range of estimates associated with these paleomagnetic data and the geomagnetic assumptions that have been made. The big conclusion, though, is that Ash Creek Butte probably did not take as long as 10,000 years to erupt. It probably did not take as long as 1,000 years to erupt. In fact, the eruptive episode that formed Ash Creek Butte may have taken place in under 100 years. That's fast. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to discussing this project further with you.